Hi everybody, welcome back to Mando Lessons. Today we're going to work on an old time tune called Big Sky Oda. Um, it's also known as Big Sky Odie, Big Sky Odi, uh, a bunch of different uh, titles, but I call it Big Sky Oda anyway. It gets played a lot in the bluegrass circles, um, as well as old time circles. Um, so I'll play it through once and then break it down into sections. Um, try to get it by ear as so I'm going to be breaking it into sections. Um, and it's really good practice for you, but if you do need help, there's tabs and standard notation over at the website, uh, mandolessons.com, as well as uh, chords to play along with the melody, and also as well as backing tracks, uh, play along tracks, so I can play guitar and you can play the mandolin, or I can play the mandolin and you can play the guitar, or we can both play the mandolin together, or whatever you want. There's going to be slow uh, and fast versions of each. So check it out over there if that interests you. Uh, free to stream. As many times as you want. So I'll play it through once. Break it down into sections. One, two, three. jumped into if you're watching closely i jumped into a different position because i got confused for a second and thought i was playing a different tune uh so don't don't do what i just did but i'll break it down to the sections and we'll not jump up there hopefully next time so here we go first phrase sounds like this it's got two pickup notes uh key of g if i haven't said that already uh oh, the pickup notes are open and second fret on the d string first phrase sounds like this Do that again. Here we go. One, two, three. Again, here we go. One, two, three. One more time. Here we go. Two, three. Next phrase, here we go, same pickup. Almost the same phrase, the only difference is the end sounds like this. Versus. So let's play those two phrases together, sounds like this. One, two, three. Next phrase, same pickup notes. Let's play that again. One, two, three. Again, one more time. One, two, three. And the last phrase, which is a big, long string of notes. So here it comes. I'll play it through and then break it down a little bit more. Same pickup notes. So that's a lot of notes. Um, but if you listen to the last, very last set of notes in there, that's uh, what we've been doing all along. Uh, it showed up earlier in the tune. So I'll play it again with the same pickup notes. D dum da da dum is familiar territory at the end there. Um, so we really just have that little first part, and it sounds like this. So 
So that's mostly third fret, fifth fret, and open strings with one little second fret thrown in. So three, oh, five, three, two, five, oh, three. Starts in the E string. One more time. That's how it ends. So put that uh, little pick up at the beginning, do it one more time, and then that's the whole tune, that's the whole A part, and we'll play that together. So one more time with that last long phrase. One, two, three. All right, so the whole tune, the whole, sorry, the whole A part. One, two, to the B part. Start with some pickup notes so on the E string. So that third fret on the E is your first downbeat. And the first phrase sounds like this. Let's do that again. One, two, three. Again, here we go. One more time, here we go. Next phrase. Again. Put those two phrases together and it sounds like this. One, two, three. Next phrase, this is my favorite phrase. Do that again. Again. Let's put those three phrases of the B part together. One, two, three. So that last phrase is the same as the ending of the A part. So it's material that we've already worked on. So um, that's the whole tune, A-A-B-B. -B. 
Um, let's play it through. A, A, B, B. We, we just played the B part once there, so we'd do that twice. So just to remind you, the A part sounds like this. And let's do it. One, two, three. part again. Etc. Back to the A part. So thanks so much for watching. Uh, if you find this lesson and my style of teaching helpful, there's a couple ways to donate over at the website, and that's always appreciated. Helps make sure that I can pay for domain hosting and putting out new lessons. Um, but that said, my lessons will always be free, so if donation's not in the cards, that's no problem by any means. Um, so that's all for this lesson. I'll play it one more time and add in some double stops, and then send you on your way. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you again soon.